All right, so I just got this in the mail, this digital microscope. Pretty interested to see how this thing checks out. So let's open it up and find out how it works. Digital microscope 246S. Decent little stand there. All right, let's start setting this thing up. Actually, quite a bit comes in this. We got optics, we got a screen, we got a stand. We got some uh, some holders that are pretty substantial. I'm pleasantly surprised with the quality of those. You can tell some of the electronics are maybe not as high quality, but you know, for the budget that this thing's offering, I'd say that's pretty fair. All right, so let's take a look. We got some lights. We have. It appears to be some sort of slides. I have to check out what these are. Oh, maybe they come with actual already uh, a couple samples. Like if you have some students that you want to check out, yeah, look at that. Comes with some some samples, some slides. That's kind of neat. Look at that. We got a pine stem. We got. Oh, that's actually a pretty nice little. You know, if you're especially if you're doing this for educational purposes, show your kids, have some fun. Comes with a remote control. I'm not really sure why. Okay, so we've got this thing hooked up pretty well now. Um, there's actually a couple of different ways to hook it up. You got two different lights, like you have these lights right here, but you also have a, another light you can use depending on your setup. The lights are very bright. Um, and as you can see, I'm picking up my finger right there on the camera. Now this camera is pretty nice because it does have a HDMI output. So if you wanted to project that to something else, or record it. In fact, it comes with a 32, let me see if I can get that on the, there we go. 32 gigabyte SD hard or storage device. So pretty good amount of storage that you can take videos with, take pictures with. So obviously you wanna pay attention to what kind of lenses these things offer. I don't have anything particular I'm using this for right now, but if you were gonna buy one of these, you wanna make sure it has the right optics for your particular situation. I might actually use this in class to inspect my students' soldering work. So you can see right there, I can say, whoa, what's going on right there? Not a very good joint. This is one of the ECG readers from htm-workshop.com. Um, so this is something my students do in the class. And we have some fun building our own medical device. Oh yeah, there's a good one, right? So showing them, and obviously in some, you know, the reality is this device still works just because you're soldering, you know, some of these joints are actually pretty good. This one's looking pretty bad. And talk about, you know, what makes a good solder joint, why why did that happen? It's something I might do with my students one day. So this, this thing's gonna come in handy for me. And I'm looking forward to showing people how you can use this. Uh, pretty good little product, I'm impressed. It set up real quick, very easily. And it's great for showing small details on circuit boards or uh, detailed work that you might be working on. I think this is something probably every hobbyist should have access to. I'm kinda wondering why I haven't bought one of these sooner. I'll go ahead and put a link to one of these things in the description of the video and you know you can check it out or if you find a better one let me know in the comments thanks